I am currently giving away this M4A1 Cyrex. To enter the giveaway, you can just click on the Gleam link down in the description, leave a comment, and yeah, I wish you good luck, and now have fun with the video. What is going on guys, and welcome to a new video, and today I'm going to show you how to make a B-Hop macro in Counter-Strike, and you're not getting uh, back ban from this, um, neither Face It or ECA is trying to ban you because you're not injecting any files and you don't chi. Um, the thing with scripts and other hacks is you have to inject them into the game files or you're editing existing game files and that's not allowed. But you're just using uh, a little tool from a keyboard. Uh, in my case it's the Razer board and there are plenty other keyboards out there which have the macro feature but in this case I'm doing it with my Black Widow. In the description there's a download link uh, for this. You can just download it. It's a pre-installed macro um, with three presets and you can just download it and then you're going to start your Razer Synapse. Or Synapse, I don't know how you're gonna call that shit. In German it's Synapse, um, but uh, yeah, never mind. So when you open it you go to macros um, I think in English it's, it's just with a C or with a K. Uh, then you go to the little dot thing here and import. Uh, then search for the file and yes, there you have it. I'm, I'm having it on the desktop me too. So yeah, just click on it, click open and then you import it with import. Uh, I already done this so I have the thing all twice now, but yeah, nobody cares. So now you're going back to keyboard up here and select the key you want. In my case I will use the spacebar because this is what I use normally for jumping. And you click from standard to macro and then you choose uh, one of these. Um, so what you have in here is a b-hop 17 milliseconds so every 17 milliseconds it's going to import a jumping command. So without even pressing it again the keyboard will send a keyboard press so this is allowing you to spam the jumping which is making it very easy to be hop in game so you will not be hop like when you're hacking but it making it's making it very easy um, so in my opinion the best thing is the 70 milliseconds there are two other versions for 64 tick but this is working on 64 and 128 and I'm playing face it and um, ECA and not that much matchmaking so I need the 128 tick and so I'm using this one just click on it and then uh, use the lower thing in Germany it's, it says translated uh, you only have to hold the, s the key you select it and then the macro is getting played so choose the lower one click on save and then you can just minimize that and we can jump straight into the game so we are now in game and uh, as you can see, you can just hold down your spacebar and you will do the automatic jumps. Um, some people say it's easier with just using the scrolling on the mouse, which I'm doing right now. So, for you people who are a bit better in bunny hopping than me, you can... I think you have a w advantage of, yeah, doing it way better than everyone else. So, with a little bit of practice, um, it's possible to hit some sick B hops. I'm not pretty good at this, but I mean, no one is getting born perfect, so I have to I have to get used to B hopping with this style. Oh my god, I'm so bad. Look at this shit. I'm <laughs> oh my god, it's very embarrassing. But uh, yeah, I still hope that you guys enjoyed the video and that I gave you a little tip how to B hop a little bit easier, especially for beginners. And no, you will not get back banned from it. The only thing where you have to be uh, yeah, w the only thing you have to keep in mind is that um, you can still get Overwatch banned. Um, not because you're looking like you're hacking, uh, but some people, if you're pretty good at B hopping, and with this it's pretty easy to do that, uh, some people will say, oh now he's scripting, and then they report you. And yeah, but it's only in theory. Uh, in practice, you can say it's impossible because. To get into the Overwatch system, you have to get uh, 11 reports, been 
24 hours and why should 11 people report you just because you're jumping around i mean i never reported someone for b hopping um so i hope you enjoyed the video please leave a like and a subscribe so please leave a like subscribe and join the giveaway i see you guys in the next video bye